Hello, hello, and welcome to the Notary Life with Kimmy podcast. I am also one of the trainers with Notary Educators, which includes myself, Kimmy Nunnally, Angela Johnson, and Alexis Franklin. We each own our own very successful notary businesses and teach notaries in all 50 states to be great and grow their own business. We will discuss general notary work, apostilles, ink fingerprinting, and the duties of a notary signing agent, and much, much more. For all of your notary needs, please visit notaryeducatorsllc.com. We hope you enjoy the show, and we wish you much success. Hello, hello, and welcome to Notary Life with Kimmy. I am here with uh, Angela from uh, um, AJ Mobile Notaries. Uh, just a brief introduction. It has been a minute. For those of you who are new, welcome to the channel. I am Kimmy, and over here at Notary Educators, we always say notarize like a pro, and it's not that complicated. So um, I'll let Angela introduce herself, and then we're going to get right into tonight's topic. Uh oh, Angela. And my name is froze? Angela with AJ Mobile. Can you can you hear me? Yes, but you're frozen. Can you hear me? No. A, yes, I can hear you, but you're frozen oh. on the screen. Okay, this is Angela with AJ Mobile Notary, one third of Notary Educators, and I'm in the country, so I'm going to be mostly listening. If you can't hear me, I'm coming back from a signing that's far, far away. So we can hear you, Angela. You're just frozen. So hey, welcome everybody. Oh, she just we just dropped her. She is in a bad area she was dating, <laughs> so she might be in and out. Okay, she's back. Okay, Angela, we can hear you, but you just, um, you were frozen, but you are not anymore, so just hop in where you can. Hey, welcome, okay. everybody. Welcome, welcome. Hey, Marcel. Hey, Shay. What's going on? To those who will watch on the replay, Facebook, unfortunately, I cannot talk to you, um, but if you want to join in the conversation, you can come over to YouTube. But you will be able to see it, but I won't be able to talk to you because, unfortunately, I cannot read the comments over there. So, Celeste, what's going on? Dorianda, Dorianda, Dorinda, Nell, the budget key. What's up? What's up? Hey, Kentella, congratulations on your signing. I was reading in Facebook. You're doing some amazing things. Hey, Lana, legacy of a child. What's going on? What's going on, people? So um, if you are not in our Facebook group, I highly recommend it. Completely free. You don't have to have taken any of our classes. And we are making some things happen over there. Notaries are winning, okay? And Kentella is a perfect example of that. So congratulations. You're, you're welcome, hon. I've been seeing you. I don't always... And I did comment on your success. So I, I think I did. I think I saw it today. So Congrats on your signing. So we are doing some amazing things, Notary Educators, again. So tonight, guys, we are talking about why you must have a journal. You must have a journal. So for those of you who may be new to notary, you do not always, um, all states do not require you to have a, not a notary journal. Matter of fact, our state does not require it. You do not have to have a notary journal in the state of Georgia. It's not a requirement. In many states, you wouldn't believe it, <laughs> but you do not have to have a notary journal. So I highly recommend you have one. So I'm going to tell you the story of why you need one. So you guys probably saw a video I did uh, last week, and I said I was going to come back and tell you what happened. I was looking for a notary because I needed a notary, and I couldn't find one. And so many of you were so kind to offer to assist me. I had people... <laughs> all the way from Athens, Georgia, which is almost an hour away, reaching out saying, hey, I'll help you. And I thought that was so sweet and so kind of you. I really appreciate it. So I got it taken care of. I'm going to tell you how, just so you can have the full story. So what happened, I got a, a phone call from an attorney. And this is, I think it's happened to Angela too. I'll let her tell her story too. We each have a story. Alexis is not here. She's our other trainer. She may join us. I'm not sure. This was kind of short notice. She may be working. So anyway, um, I got a phone call from an attorney and the attorney said, hey, you were the notary on, we'll say, Mr. Bob Smith's will signing. And Mr. Will Smith or uh, Bob Smith has uh, died. He's died. So now the, the uh, will is in probate. The will is in probate. So they needed confirmation 
that I was the notary that witnessed the signing. So this happened two years ago, guys, two years. So during the signing, my mom was one of the witnesses. You all know I lost her last year. And then Angela was one of the witnesses. So I couldn't even ask Angela to be a notary on the document, to, to the one that they sent me, because she was one of the witnesses, right? So you see how things can change in the in a blink of an eye. The signing happened two years ago. My mom was still here. She's no longer here. And if they had to call her, of course, that's not going to happen, right? Angela was one of the witnesses, so she could not sign for me. So what the process looked like, because this is what happened to you, and I don't want you to panic. You're going to get a call one day. This is why you need a journal. They're going to call you and say, hey, you were the notary on ABC signing, and we need you to confirm that the person was alert. They asked me 10 questions. They wanted to know if I was there in front of the person. They wanted to know if I was over 14. They wanted to know if the witness, I mean, if the signer was cognizant, was he aware of what he was signing? They wanted to know, did he sign it in my presence? So you see why being a good notary is so important. All of these little pieces of the puzzle. So it was 10 different questions. I should have kept a copy of it, but it was 10 different questions that they asked me. And um, again, they even put in the comments and they know that most notaries don't have a journal, right? So they even put in the comments, we know that this happened a while ago. You may not remember everything, but to the best of your recollection. So what the process was after they called me and they sent, they emailed me a document. The document had to be printed saying that I was the notary on the will signing. They sent me a copy of the will. They sent me a copy of the will. And when I first saw everything, I was like, God, this is two years ago. I'm not going to remember all this. This is why you need a journal. It's your memory. It's your memory. So I had to go back in my journal, which was like five journals back. Right. That's why you keep all your journals. So each state is different how long you need to keep them. But I'm going to recommend you keep them as long as you're a notary, as long as you're a notary. And so I'm going to let you hop in in just a second. I want to add a little bit more to the story. Okay. So. So they sent me the document via email. They sent me a copy of the will. They sent me the document that I had to have notarized saying that I was a notary. They sent me a copy of the will and they sent me an official letter from the lawyer requesting this. So when they sent it to me, I printed it, looked at everything. And again, Angela could not be my notary because she was a witness to the document. So then I had to go out and try to look for a notary. So in that other video that I did, could not find a notary. I went to my bank. They would not do it. Some people were trying to say, well, maybe because of the type of document, that's why I couldn't find a notary. It doesn't matter. My point in saying I can't find a notary is I couldn't find a notary. So yeah, they won't notarize wills. They won't notarize court documents at the bank. So that's why you're needed as a notary. That's why you're needed. And you need to know what you're doing out there because you will be called later, perhaps two years in my case, on a document, you know? So because I couldn't find a notary, I reached back out. I went to three places that day. I went to my bank. I went to Staples. They no longer notarized. And then I went to another store that Staples told me did it across the street from them, which was out of business. So three different locations, could not find anybody. So I reached back out via email to the attorney and I said, hey, I can't find a notary. <laughs> that will notarize this document. So don't forget, I probably could have found one, but I'm not paying for that. That's coming out of their money some kind of way. I'm not going to pay to confirm I was the notary on something, right? So I um, had the, I called her, I mean, email her. Hey, I can't find a notary. So she gets on the phone and start notar calling notaries. <laughs> so she calls a UPS store. They said that they would do it. They said that they would. So she's telling me where to go is $6 or whatever. And I'm still thinking to myself, um, I'm not going to push back on $6. I'm going to go ahead and pay it. But I did tell her, I said, hey, my husband is a notary. He doesn't have anything to do with this. Is it okay for him to notarize it? And she was like, sure, because that was my first reaction when I got the document in the mail. I said, well, I'll just get Jeffrey to do it. And I wasn't sure, again, if I even wanted to do that. Because, you know, like I said, He's my husband, conflict of interest to me. But the attorney said it was fine. And in the state of Georgia, check your state handbook because you shouldn't rec you shouldn't notarize for family. But sometimes it's going to be what it is. That's not the first time I had to have my husband notarize something for me. 
Okay, so, and it was okay with the other signer. And again, in Georgia, oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> Somebody in Facebook saying such a boss, babe. <laughs> so I appreciate it. So I'm just trying to get it handled, you know what I'm saying, without costing me money too. Angela, I know you had a similar situation. So to wrap up my story in a nice little bow, Jeffrey notarized it. They sent me a prepaid label for UPS. I mean, not UPS, USPS, the United States Post Office, to take it there. So when I went to take it there today, um, the line was so long. I was like, they're not paying me for this job. This is my time. So I did something I never do. I never do. <laughs> I left the package with the UPS people because it was so many people in there. So it's tracking. So hopefully it'll be okay. I might track it later tomorrow, make sure that they did and put it in the system. But I never leave my documents like that. But again, I didn't have an hour to waste standing there. I wasn't being paid for this. I already had invested a lot of time into this follow-up on this particular transaction. Okay. Angela, I know you had a similar story. Can you relate? I did. I, the same situation. I notarized some documents for a man. He was actually in the hospital when I notarized the document. So I had a regular person that goes to be my witness, and he didn't have a second witness. So uh, we found somebody that was waiting on their wife at the hospital. Notarized the documents. The man was alert. You know, he knew he was going to die because he talked about it. He was alert. Six months later, I get a letter, phone call from this uh, attorney in Kentucky saying, you notarized this will and these other documents. I need an affidavit from you. I need an affidavit from your witnesses saying that this happened. Uh, so the one witness, it was easy because she lived close to me. And the other witness lived on the other side of town. I told her, if I go get this, it's going to cost you $100. I said, plus, I have to have it notarized. I said, I got to pay somebody to notarize it. I said, I got to get the witness to redo it. So I got to pay her. So what happened, they ended up, I ended up calling Kim. And um, so they paid her. I paid her to notarize my signature. They paid me to pay the witness. I notarized her signature, and I had to send it back. I, they didn't want to pay for uh, FedEx, so I did go to the post office and just drop it off with a stamp. But they definitely wanted an affidavit saying that this person was a sound mind. They understood what they were signing and that I notarized the document and had witnesses. So it was kind of the same situation, except for off the, off the rip, I said, this got to be paid for it, and I'm not paying for it. <laughs> ah, so we know Angela do not play about the money right so I was able to pull Facebook up on my telephone so I do want to give a few shouts out hey Sarah Chris Melissa De La Cruz thank you and Mel thank you all so much and I do appreciate it about the YouTube channels uh, the YouTube videos on um, that you guys find them amazing it is my pleasure over there so I'm going to read some of your comments and take a couple of questions, but I had to share that with you. You need to make sure, yeah. make sure you have a journal. Okay. And keep your journal, C keep good records in the journal. Hey, Swan, legacy of a child, Lana, what's going on, everybody? Yeah. Nail, yeah. make sure you keep, I think I said, Hey, to all those people. Hey, Marjorie. Marcel, and I think you, in the house. I think you, um, I think you mentioned it, Kim, but also, you know, keep good notes because I wrote that the person was alert. He talked about, you know, he knew he was going to die. All of this stuff, you know, he, so you, even that will help you remember the situation. And I know Kim always writes good notes. She really taught me that. But, um, yeah, make sure you write good notes so you can even remember the situation. That is so true. If it's raining outside, you know what I'm saying? You want to make sure you keep good notes as angela was stating because and thanks for that shout out angela because your memory if it's like me i can't tell you what i had for breakfast last week if i asked you what did you have for breakfast last monday so you know you can't remember that most of us can't remember what we ate this morning okay so if somebody comes to you and they say you know hey what happened two years ago at a signing you are definitely gonna be deer in the headlights so like i said i had to go back and pull it out i'm gonna give you a couple uh tips here about your journal too in the journal, you want to write the beginning date and the end date in the front of it, okay? So if you start using that journal January 1, 2023 through the end date, if you stopped using it in June, the, on June the 30th, 2023, you want to put the beginning date and the end date. Some people like to number the outside of the journal, journal number one, journal number two, as you keep moving on, okay? 
And just in case you don't know, I have a special a specialty journal for all of your specialty work, like I nines, apostilles, ink fingerprinting, proctoring. Mm -hmm. And Angela has a regular journal for all of your regular notarial um, duties. So you can find both journals over at notaryeducatorsllc.com, okay? Couple updates, and then I'm going to get right into your comments. For those of you who have not signed up for the free emails, please do that, because that's how you're going to know I'm going live. Um, Facebook will not always notify you. YouTube will not always notify you. So please sign up for the free emails. If you have not joined us on a notary meetup Monday, you do want to. The name will be changing. Um, I had talked to Angela and Alexis about this and Jeffrey. Um, the name will be changing. We kind of went back and forth about it. But I want to change the name of our notary meetup to notary. Um, what is us? What did I say? Wait a minute. Because my mind. Yeah. Oh, I know. It is changing to notary bosses meetup. Notary bosses meetup. Why do I want to change the name instead of just notaries meet up? Because we are bossing up over there. We really are. Notaries are making some changes and growing their businesses based on Monday night. And it has been amazing. So if you have to go back and catch the replays, but the future flyers start in the next couple of weeks, you'll start seeing notary bosses meet up because we are bosses out there. Men, female, the boss, the word boss is not a bad thing. Okay. Right. It is not. So we are. And I did a, um, no. And I did a co I did a I did a coaching corner earlier today. It was from a rescheduled from a week or two ago. But mm -hmm. I did a coaching corner, and I'm mentioning this because of what you said. Because she also watches YouTube and watches us on these Monday nights. But she said the coaching corner uh, really helped her to put everything together, and now she has the confidence and the structure she needs to know that her business can be successful. So even though we have the um, Monday meeting and the notary new notary bosses meet up. She, what we talked about today, her specific business really made her excited that her business was going to be successful because she had everything she needed to put everything together. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That coaching corner is amazing. And it, it's for any stage in your business. And we designed it for those who probably have already taken training and you still don't know how to execute or get things going, right? Um, and if you, we're, we're not into having you pay for stuff for the rest of your life. So what we have over here that we offer is things you actually need to get your business going and off the ground. Okay. So check out the coaching corner back to what Angela was mentioning. Also, we do have classes going on for the month of September. So feel free. Um, those are up the schedule for September. October will be coming soon. The notary meetup is on Monday night at six. We didn't have it this week because of the holiday. Don't forget to start your notary business book if you're in the business of in the process of starting your business and don't know where to begin. That book will take you from beginning to end and starting that business. And I already talked about the emails and the classes. So I'm going to get some of these comments. So I'm going to skip the greetings. OK, so we can get right into it. Donna says I already talked about the YouTube videos being amazing. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Donna said, I ordered the state handbook over a week ago and still have not received it. So I would reach out. And then we did have the holiday in there. So you may want yeah. to um, maybe wait another day or so. But if not, just reach back out to wherever you bought it from. Email them, call them. They'll, they'll give you something. They might have to resend it if it's coming in the mail. Okay. Um, yes, your videos are live. Thank you so much. Celeste says, do you know why stuff like that happens? Yeah, somebody in the court, I mean, somebody in the family may be um, contesting the will, maybe. Or because it was going through probate, maybe they just need to confirm yeah. the will is valid so they can continue the process. So it doesn't mean and something that's part bad. Of the reason. Right. Yeah. That's yeah, part of like it. That. That's part of it. That's part of it because it's going through probate. The attorney wants to make sure they have everything uh, so the probate can run smoothly. So they want to get affidavits and all of that to make sure that everything is in order. And it right. can be because somebody may contest it. But the other reason is that they want it to run smoothly. So they make sure that they got affidavits from the notary and the witnesses that this person did sign it in their presence and that he was alert. Right. So it doesn't necessarily mean that something fraudulent is going on. But that is another reason why people will 
reach out to you. I do have about another two videos on journals. And one of those was that a man told me um, really quick, short version, because I want to get these um, comments. But a, a gentleman called me. He was being put out of a place in California. And the lady lives here in Georgia now. He told me, I know she would never sign for me to be put out. And sure enough, oh, yeah. she did sign that. And he told me he was going to get an attorney. And I said, well, you can have your attorney request my my journal or whatever, because he's asking me information now. I don't know who you are on the telephone. So he threatened to get an attorney. I said, well, that's fine. You can have them reach out. You know, so people do have the right to see your journal. I'm not going to get into that right now. Don't even ask in the comments because each day is going to be so different. So I won't be able to respond to that question. OK, but just check your state to see what the process is when someone wants your journal. OK. But and it's not it's so rare, but that one time you want to be ready. OK, next thing is I'm new, so I'm learning and definitely um, you make it informative and straight to it. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. And that's why we say it's not that complicated. We keep it simple for you. So check out our training. It'd be our pleasure to assist you. Um, the budget key says I plan to get a journal, and keep it forever. Just never know. That is correct. Get your journal. That should be part of your supplies. I do have a supply list at um, Notary Educators, LLC.com. And we also go over what you need in all of the training courses. OK. Uh, Facebook says I have your specialty journal and a regular journal. I'm a note taker. Thanks for the tip. Yes. Make sure you put those tips in there. OK. Anything that can jog your memory. OK. And Donna says Let's see, Kintel is asking her if she's in Georgia. So let's be clear, guys. Our training, because a lot of people reach out to all of us, myself, Angela, and Alexis, and they say, oh, man, I really want to learn with you guys, but I'm in another state. Guess what? All your documents are not going to come from the state that you have been commissioned as a notary. So I'm in Georgia. Most of my documents do not originate in Georgia. If you're in California, most of your documents are not going to originate in your state. We teach you how to notarize anything that come in front of you, even a piece of toilet paper. If you did not see that video, <laughs> check it out. Okay. Right. And we I have a uh, paper live. Go ahead, Angela. And we and we have a we have a students that we train in California, Texas, Virginia, Florida, all over the United States that are real bosses because you know, loan signing, apostille, notary, finger, ink fingerprinting. They've taken that training, and they're real bosses in their states. And they don't even have to call us no more. They're making big money. And that's because they took the training. No matter what state you're in, it shouldn't matter. That is correct. And it doesn't matter what document it is. It doesn't matter the location. If you know how to notarize, you can get it done. And that's what we teach you over here. Now, I will say this about location because I have my specialty general notary book and course. It is a little bit different when you're going into a hospital, when you're going into a jail, when you're going into a nursing home. And I have free videos. You can feel, feel free to check, check those out. I kind of take you a day in the life what that looks like. So it is a little bit different. But the point is that if you know how to properly notarize, the rest of it we can get through, okay? But we want you to be trained thoroughly on everything. So check out everything we offer at Notary Educators, LLC.com. So the budget um, key is saying, do the journals have decent note space where you can track? Oh, yeah. Yes, they both have enough space. And somebody in Facebook is confirming that they have theirs and there's plenty of space. <laughs> they have both of them. Thank you. Let me see who if I can see who that is. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm telling y'all, trying to make this thing work. I know Swan says she has a journal, and I can't see who else that is over there. So anyway, you thank know, you. I, can, I can't see because I'm driving. <laughs> uh, yes, Angela, please don't. Okay. Uh, what else we have here? Facebook. I do the start and end dates on my notes. Very good. Yep. Put a start and end date. Dorinda says, wow, in Maryland, we have to have a journal. This further solidifies why we should keep them forever, seems. Yep. Keep them forever. Even if your state says you can get rid of it in 10 years, I'm keeping mine. I'm keeping mine. Yep. Even after you're a notary. Because just because you stop being a notary, that don't mean somebody not going to come to you and say three years. I stopped being a notary today. That document was from two years ago. They don't care. Oh, I'm no longer a notary. I'm not doing that no more. No, they want to know what you did. <laughs> Where's your journal? So, and to, the, to do my note, what was in my to-do list? Notebooks at work. Okay, good. Celeste also says, I keep my journal and document little things about the job. Yes, best practice. Anything that's going to remind you, like Angela said earlier, are they alert? 
Were they groggy? Who was in the room? I even write down who was in the room. Was a doctor in the room? Was a nurse in the room? Right. Who was in the room? Was, the, was there a child in the room? Were there siblings in the room? Was the husband in the room? Was the wife in the room? I had an end of life um, signing a few weeks ago. And in the room was three sons. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, two sons, a son-in-law, the daughter, and the husband. Five of us was in this little room. And for, I don't know what happened to the to the mother. The mother's the one that was failing. Her health was failing. But we were all shoved in the room because one, that's where the patient was. And two, they had a big old dog. So y'all know how I feel about dogs. So I was like, can y'all close that door? They promised me, oh, the dog is behind the gate. It's behind the gate. Girl, this big old horse. He was behind the gate. The, even the, um, the social worker was there. So I notated that in my journal. Everyone was so nice. We cried. My husband prayed with them. Um, that's another topic for another day. But you are all kind of, your role as a notary is, that's why I say you ain't just a notary. Okay. We are counselors. We are, we are advocates for the, for our clients sometimes. When somebody want to make them sign something they don't want to, we play all kind of roles out there. You have anything to add to that, Angela? Yeah, that's very true. On uh, two situations, oh my goodness, two situations. Speaking of that, this girl had called me. She needed a notary. Her brother had died suddenly. Her mom had had a like massive stroke because of the situation. She had to move from Ohio to Georgia, and she had to take care of this here and her home back. And I was just overwhelmed with empathy and sympathy for her. And I got ready to walk out that door. I turned around and I told her, I usually don't do this, but your situation compels me to share this scripture with you. I said, I cannot leave here without giving you some type of positive spiritual uh, advice from the Bible. And that girl even still texts me today and called me, thanking me for, you know, what I did for her and uh, sharing that with her because she said she was, it was a really bad situation. And she just didn't know, have nowhere to turn because she was in, into so much. L leaving her whole life in Ohio and coming to Georgia to take care of this huge mess situation and she had nobody because because her mom was sick because of her brother dying so it was uh it was very a very emotional situation and i i just couldn't leave my feet couldn't leave there without sharing something with her right and i'm like you i'm very very slow to talk about religion very very slow to talk about anything controversial with people because everyone's entitled to their faith to their belief and right. i just I just don't, but there have been occasions where I'm like, you know what, this person needs a hug. I have even asked clients, is it okay if I give you a hug? You know, and they are so yeah. appreciative and they will never forget that. So no. again, we are more than just a notary out there, okay? And when you become passionate about it, you already know what you're doing as far as your actual notarial duties. That allows you to free up extra emotion and extra energy so you can be there for the client in the fullest sense. Okay, I don't know if and that's know, making sense. It does. I know you guys may not believe this about me, but it's not always about the money. It is about <laughs> the money, but it's not always about the money because I went to a hospital. <laughs> I went to a hospital in like 40 minutes away. This lady called me. Her mom was dying, end of life stuff like him. And she had to fill out all this paperwork and she had not filled any of it out. And I'm like, I can't notarize it until you fill it out. She's like, oh my gosh. I told her, relax, come with me to the lobby. I did not help her fill it out for the record. I did not help her fill it out. I sat with her while she filled it out and I comforted her. I held her hand and um, I called her to check on her like six months later. And again, she was so grateful for what I did. She said, I don't, you don't know what that did for me, uh, knowing that you really care and spent the time to wait until I do that. But you have to be empathetic with people when they're going through situations. And when you're that way, you're helping another human being. You're showing kindness. And it, it makes you feel good because you help somebody and you're not charging them for it. It's just because they're in a situation and you're there for them as a human being. And we joke a lot with Angela about getting her money and stuff and being serious about her business when it comes to pricing and everything. But Angela is very, very, very compassionate 
when it comes to serving people. Service is something she is very passionate about. And it's clear because people often, they, they reach out to her. I mean, they coming back. They ain't coming back for nothing. She has a lot of repeat business. A lot of repeat business from, well, you name it, they're coming back. <laughs> So let's get back into so purpose by design says even in my demise I will have my journals. <laughs> <Stand up. laughs> they summons. Good good looking out. You want to always be be protected. That's true. So Kentella says it takes a while. It takes ten days before they mail it out. Okay, so she's talking about something else. I'm out of your state. I'm in Florida again. Doesn't matter what state you're in. Um, we can assist you to be a great notary. Um, not always about the money, about the relationships. Yes, the budget key. We are in total agreement. Yeah. Facebook says, I'm a Ron and all sessions are recorded. It may be all right if you have permission from the signers and inform them that they will be recorded and all agree. Yeah, I don't want you to get in the habit unless you are doing Ron recording people, okay? Because I just heard this on something else. I don't know what I was listening to. We are not in, we are not going to be recording people. This is just my my opinion. This is my opinion. I would never teach you to just start recording all transactions. If you are not Ron, you you face privacy issues. You you face a lot when you start just recording randomly. If you are doing remote, admit it's a requirement, okay? Depending on your state, depending on this, depending on that, whatever, right? But we are not just going to be out there willy-nilly recording people, okay? But, sorry. But why, would we wanna, why would we want to do that anyway? I don't understand why we would want to record people. Just to have proof of what happened. I was on something else recently and that question came up. It might have been in our Facebook group, but I did recently see that. And we are not going to encourage you just to be out there again, just willy-nilly recording every transaction on your phone. Okay? That's going to be a no-go. And check I will say this. Go ahead. I'm sorry, Kim. Go ahead. I was just going to say, check your state also because some states don't even allow you to write the driver's license number. So... Right. You know, Texas for, is one. You can't write the driver's license number. So if they don't want you doing right. that, I know they don't want you recording the whole transaction, probably, unless it's Ron, remote online notary for those who may be new to the audience. Okay. Mm -hmm. Angela. Note taking note taking is so important. You know, forget about the recording. When you take good notes, if something comes up and your notes are in order, that's just like a recording. And I was gonna say earlier, when 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 um Children call me for their parents' wills and all of this. When I go to a signing, I introduce myself. I really ignore the kids. I had one this past weekend, speaking of referrals, where the neighbor on the other street over referred the lady, gave her my number. And so she they called me, and I introduced myself when I got there. After that, it's all about the parents because they were signing. They were very elderly. I sat down. I taught a minute. Ask them, are you aware of what you're signing? And are you okay with signing this? And are you signing it on your own free will? And I look at the kids and I always say, I know you called me, but your parents are my clients. What they say is matter. They always say, I understand. I say, I'm responsible for making sure that they're okay with what they're signing and that they know what they're signing. And so it's not, you have to know how to handle people. And usually people will appreciate that. Mm -hmm. But that's what it's all about, taking care of the people, especially elderly people, taking care of the people to make sure that nobody's trying to get over or commit fraud or anything. I love that, Angela. I love that. So I'm going to get these last couple comments, guys, and then I have to skedaddle. For those of you who do not know, I started another channel, Weight Loss. Uh, it's called Healthy Life with Kimmy. And I'm going live over there at 745. So if you have not, this is not notary related. But I do say this, without your health, there is no wealth. Without That's your right. health, there is no wealth. I have lost almost 20 pounds and I have a weight loss challenge going over there in my other channel. So check it out. Healthy Life with Kimmy. Let me get these last couple, okay? And the last couple is the notary down south laughing at a baby horse. And how do you get uh -huh. um, business from hospitals and nursing homes? You mark it just like anything else. Make a list of the nursing homes in your area. Get your business cards. First, first know what you're doing, how to handle right. it, how to do it, and then just go out there and mark it. Um, feel free to reach out to us if you need more help with that. Novella Inc. says, good afternoon. Hey, Purpose by Design says, yes, you can and will get caught up in recording people. The police is not playing any games when it comes to recording. Please be careful. 
Yes, privacy laws is no joke. Purpose by design. Oh. Um, Rumeli Notary says, hello, can you talk about Ron and Ren for the state of Alabama? Unfortunately, I do not have time because I do have to get over there for 745. But remote online notary is just that. You're notarizing online. Ren is uh, remote. What is it? Remote in person notarization they're similar remote ink something like that they're similar though uh somebody said they lost 130 pounds congratulations, congratulations. I was on somebody said they was on a yes congrats somebody said they was on a deathbed two years ago almost 400 pounds get it get it that is so great so guys i That's have to go I'm going live over there at 7 45 angela join me over there i sent you the link if you can I'll um, be there. Yes, everybody, I will see you guys later, Angela and myself. You want to say bye, Angela? Bye, you guys. Thanks. I really enjoyed this session. I'm glad you guys were able to join us. And I hope you learned something to uh, enhance your notary visit. Yes. All right, guys. Well, everybody be safe out there until Monday night. Sign up for all email notifications, and we'll see you then, okay? Much success. Bye. Thank you again for listening to the Notary Life with Kimmy podcast. We would love to be a part of your notary journey. Please visit us at notaryeducatorsllc.com for all of your notary training needs. Also, please feel free to join the Notary Life with Kimmy YouTube channel where Kimmy has over 400 videos that will help you to grow and build a successful notary business. Until the next episode, we wish you much success on your journey. Bye.